everyone, Mandy here. Uh, for today's challenge, for the 14-day training challenge, we're going to be working on middle. So middle is where you have your dog stand between your legs. It's a really cool trick, but it has some practical applications too. I like to use middle if I want to have a little bit more space for, um, between my dogs and the environment around us. Um, so if you're in a vet's office and it's a crowded lobby, you can have your dog go to middle. Um, you can use it as a way to get a recall on your dog, have them have a place that they can come to. Uh, you can use it for all sorts of things. Uh, but on top of that, and first and foremost, it's really cute. So I'm going to be doing it today with Milo, and we'll see how he does. Milo! Good boy! So to start off, I'm going to toss some treats behind me to get Milo comfortable with going around behind my back. Yes! And then if he happens to peek at me through my legs, I'm just going to mark that and then reward a few times in position. Okay! It's okay if he goes all the way around me. <laughs> so he wants to circle me now. So no reward for that one. I'm just going to get him up and moving again. Hey Milo, ready? Touch. Yes, good boy. So I'm marking when he's directly behind my legs and then feeding directly in front of me so that then his head is right where I want it to be and I'm rewarding that position. So another way to teach this is using hand targets, which you guys learned on day one of the challenge because where the head goes, the body follows. So I can use a hand target to get Milo behind me and then one directly in front of me. He's really fluent with his hand targets. So I'm going to do a hand target behind and then immediately cue one in front uh, because he can do that. If you need to, you can mark each one and reward them individually as well. Ready, Milo? Touch. Yes. Yes. Boy. Touch. Touch. Yes. Good boy. That gets him exactly where he needs to go. Good job. If your dog doesn't have a hand target yet, you can use luring to get this behavior as well. So I'm going to drop a treat behind me. When he is eating that one, I'm going to kind of beckon him to come to me. I might bend over a little, get my face in the picture so that he'll come. Okay, get it. Hi! Yes, good boy! And then I'm marking when he gets into position. So that's another kind of fun way to do this. There's so many ways to tra train this behavior. Good boy. So with the targeting method, I'm going to now start adding our cues. Um, I'm going to work with gesturing first and then having him target, and then I'm gonna add in our verbal. Touch. Yes. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, good boy. Get it. Touch. Yes. Get it. Now I can add the verbal. Middle. Middle. Yes. <laughs> oh, 
Good job backing it up a little bit. Good boy. Great job. This is an excellent place for cuddles as well.